Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Just want to do a quick video for you on Microsoft Teams and how to work with Microsoft Teams and the iPhone. So you've been asked to join a meeting from your phone. You're not in front of a computer, you have your phone available to you and that's what you have to start with. So let's look at how this can look. So the first assumption I'm going to start with is you have Teams already on your iPhone. Then here's some of the ways that you can get started with that meeting. First off, if the meeting's already started and it's in progress, if you go to your iPhone and go to the channel you suspect the meeting's in, that means you'll see at the top of that channel this join button there. Another option is you could go to the chat in that same channel and you'll see that part of the chat says, hey, there's a meeting that started, why don't you join it? So again, this is all from your iPhone. The third option might be the easiest one is from your iPhone. You're going to go to the bottom of your screen when you're in Teams. You're going to go to Calendar and it says, hey, you have a meeting that you can just join right now. So you have a join button in front beside any of your Teams meetings while you're in Teams on your phone. Once you join, or as you're about to join, you press the join button, but now it's, it still hasn't joined. Uh, you still haven't joined the meeting because it wants to know, do you want your video on or off, your mic on or off, the sound coming from the meeting on or off. So let's, uh, let's just say you say, well, I don't want my video on, but I'll have my mic on so I can talk to them. So you turn that mic on and then you press join now. Even though you chose to have your mic on or off, you still have the choice to go back to, well, you know, I should put my video on or I should turn my mic off so it doesn't have so much interference. Then you can go back to that toolbar at the bottom of your phone while you're in that meeting. This toolbar though will disappear. So the only way to bring it back is you have to tap on your phone and then you'll see that toolbar reappear and then you can press one of the choices at the bottom. And don't forget, aside from those choices, you have at the top right here, choices for the chat and to add more people to that meeting if you have rights to do so. So my chat right now in this screen shows a red, which is saying there's somebody that has chatted. So if I press the chat button there, I will see what's, what's happening with the chat. Another button at the bottom of the screen is the three dots. So three dots, whenever you see that, that means there's more. There's, this is, leads you to another menu. So that other menu looks like this. You can start a recording. You can put yourself on hold from the meeting because maybe you have to take another call. You can share your screen or you can dial out to another number to have them join in the meeting. And that's only if you have that phone plan or, or you can turn off the video that's coming into the meeting. So let's look at share a little further. If you pick share, here are your options. You can share PowerPoints. Uh, presentation so it will you get a PowerPoint presentation already ready to go on your phone or it will look at whatever PowerPoint presentations you've opened last on the phone and suggest those to you you could share a photo on your phone video or share your entire phone screen in that meeting if you choose to, sh to go to the participants button on the phone, then this is what you're going to see. You're going to see who's in the meeting and you have the option to add people only if you're not a meeting guest or if you ha have that permission to add people. This won't always be available to you. Add a room is to add um, kind of more like a sound room. Think of it that way. It's not really adding a breakout room to this. It's adding, you know, I want a better video or, video or audio quality. So I'm going to tap into this other um, sound system I have here in, in this other room. Okay. If in the meeting you decide to go to, maybe they're talking about something in the meeting, you're thinking, oh, I should go and look that up in one of my other channels to see what's going on here. When you do that, the meeting itself will be minimized um, as you're looking throughout your teams at other channels. So it'll still be showing there and you can get back to it by just tapping on that little minimize button. If you go out of Teams altogether and you haven't hung up from the meeting, you're still in the meeting, it's, it's like you're still on the phone. So what happens is on your iPhone at the top left, it shows a little phone icon. I think it's green or red. Um, and you can just tap on that 
phone, that little phone icon to get back into the meeting. If you invite non-Teams members to a meeting, what will happen is if they get it on their phone, then they will be prompted to download the, meet, the Teams app. If they get it on their computer, this is the screen that they will have. They can either not download anything and just go onto the web and join that meeting. They can download the Windows app or download a Teams app as well. And if you want to have them join with a phone number, if you have the right uh, Microsoft Office package, the enterprise package, or the add-on for phone services, you can do that. Otherwise, with Microsoft Office 365 Business, you're not gonna be able to dial into a Teams meeting. That's a quick video for you on Microsoft Teams and using your iPhone. This is assum assuming you already have the iPhone uh, or the app for the teams on your phone. I hope this helped you. If you like it, uh, please put a like under this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting lots more of great tech tips for you to enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.